Gin set number two, the Chinesium one. Have not been able to identify it. Doesn't really matter. I think they're all built about the same. It's got the Jiang Dong 5.5. I did do some research and I found plenty of generators running that engine, but none of the generators look like this one. Of course, I don't think any generator looks like this one. It's pink. Obviously, it's been out in the weather for quite a while. Oil level's good. In fact, the oil even looks good. Off and on switch is missing. I assume though that being as the switch is broken the default would be open so it should run without it. Looks like it's leaked a little oil. The pull rope's not retracting all the way but it does function and there is compression. That's pretty nasty, and I don't think it's fuel, I think it's water. I don't smell anything, it looks like water. I think since it sat outside for so long, judging by the bleached paint, that when it rained, water came in through the cracked fuel gauge there and filled the tank up. Hopefully the fuel was off. I don't remember. I think when I picked them up, the fuel was turned on on a couple of them and I shut it off. I don't remember if this was one of them or not. So, I guess the first thing I will do is check to make sure I have some sparks. So let me get set up and I will be right back. so the socket has to go in at kind of an angle. fuel down there and see if it'll kick over. Now, roll up your sleeve. This won't hurt a bit.
that's why that plug was so close to that valve cover. Somebody had cross-threaded the plug into the hole so it was sitting closer to the valve cover instead of upright. And those threads are a mess. I believe I have a plug tap. I hate doing that. But how much work is this old Chinese generator worth? Probably not pulling the head off. So I'll probably just do the grease on the tap trick and get as many shavings as I can from dropping in. So I'll go dig that out. Could not find my plug thread chaser, so I just carefully kept going back at it until I caught what feels like the correct thread because it didn't fight me a whole lot going in. And so the plug's back in, couldn't get it to start, thought maybe uh, didn't have enough pull on the rope since the recoil was half sprung, so I've just fixed the recoil. Let's try it again. Okay, I finally got some action out of it. Um, I screwed up on that spark plug. I did not help those threads any at all. Apparently I got it cocked in even more. So when I pulled on it, the piston just tapped the top of the electrode and pushed it in and just closed the gap completely. So fixed that, got it threaded in properly, but there's not a lot of threads left now. But I did get it to fire, so I got a lamp to see if we're generating any power before I go any further with it. Destroy it any further. Let's see what happens. Good. It's making power. I'm going to pull the bowl off the carburetor and see what that looks like inside there. Hopefully that fuel shut off was turned off. But that thing filled up with water. It may be really crusty in there. I see crust. That's not a good sign. Fortunately, I wouldn't think there'd be an objection to using a Chinese carburetor on a Chinese generator. So, if I can't fix this, I should be able to get one pretty cheap. That's nice. It's dry though, so I'd say the fuel wasn't turned on. The tank definitely has a lot of water in it. So that might have just been residue of what was in there. But it's definitely going to have to come out. So.
Dick, assistant governor. Be savable. I'll put this in the ultrasonic. We'll probably get back to this generator tomorrow. Then I'll just keep it an extension of this one, so it'll be in the same part, I believe. But that's enough for tonight. 